Hi, I'm Lay with LayShidell.com. I have a training. Let's talk about YouTube videos and how you can strip away the share button from the top right hand corner. This is possible by adding a parameter to your embedded link. Now I've had some technical issues today. In fact, this is attempt number three for this video. So I'm going to have to skip one point where I actually show you the code which you will be inserting. But what I will do for you is after this video live finishes, I will come back and add a comment in this video so that you will have the exact code to copy and paste and save for yourself so that you will be able to do this function. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do for this process is go to YouTube. And so I'm going to take you over to my screen and share that with you. And I'm going to leave this other screen, which I usually make go away. I'm going to kind of keep this visible so I can see what's happening since I have been having technical problems. So once you're on the video that you would like to work with, the first thing that I want you to note is that we're going to pick up not the embedded link from right clicking on the video itself here. Normally, if you right click this video, and I'm struggling already, we're having some kind of technical issue right now. It doesn't want to allow me um, access. Normally, you would right click the video, though, and be able to get the embedded link at this point. So I'm going to see if it's going to let me do what I want to do here. If I click on share, it should be bringing up another window for me. And that's not happening. Okay, there it is. Okay, we're going to have lots of challenges today with these technical issues. So once you get this small window open, click embed. Make sure you select uh, a unselect this show suggested video normally when you go here it will be like that it will be checked and so we're going to uncheck it like that when you've done that i want you to copy the embedded link this is the url to that that uh, creates an embedded link to this url for youtube video okay once we do that I embed these on my website. And the reason that I want to remove the share is I don't want everybody to see uh, what I have in a paid training and be able to share it with just anybody since it is a paid training. So I put mine on my website. So you go to the location on your website where you're going to put the video. And I'm going to scroll down here and my video is located right here now I'm not actually going to add this right here but I'm going to show you how because I'm going to take you to a screen where I've already done the work I have two examples of the YouTube video here it runs from here down to this location this is going to be one where the share button is removed and the next URL is that same video without the share button removed. Okay, so when you're ready, you're going to take that embedded link that we've copied earlier and you're going to go to the top of your page in WordPress and you're going to click not the visual tab, that's the one we're usually working with most of the time. We're going to click the one that says HTML. Now, this is code that actually makes your website function and do all of the different things that you have set up on it. Changing anything here can be detrimental. First thing, make sure you've backed up everything on your website so that if you need to, you can get back to this point. Okay, I'm going to relocate this window here. What I'm looking for on my page is the act location of those two links. If you look here on this line, you'll see a square bracket and then the word YouTube starts. That is the 
code for the URL for that YouTube video and that one has the information added. I'm going to show you where to add that information. When you're looking at a normal link before that's been added, so we're looking at the example before you strip the share button. As you follow over, you'll see typical https colon backslash backslash www.youtube.com and then you have watch and it gives the information about the video the video name ends where the letters end and the first question mark begins so you're going to click between that letter and the question mark and this would be where you're going to insert that code that you're going to copy from the comment. Now I have mine on a hotkey and I'm just going to add, I would just add that, whoops, I try that again. I just need to add that in and now I've clicked in the wrong place again so I need to come back to where I was. One moment, give me a moment to look at it here. Okay, and so that's where we would be is right here and then that's where I would insert the code. Now, I'm not, as I told you, I'm not actually going to do it here. Once you've made that adjustment, you're going to come up and click update. It's really crucial that you update it at this point or it's not going to keep that change. Okay, once it updates, then you're going to go to another tab and you're going to type in your URL site. When you do that, you're going to go to the page where that video is located. I'm waiting for a second for it to load and I'll scroll down. Now on mine, you would have just altered the existing video that's there. But on mine for the demonstration on this, I actually have two copies of that video as I indicated. This first one has no share button in the top right hand corner, even though it is a YouTube video. Also, if you notice when I play it, and I click on the play and I go to the end. When it gets to the end, it's just going to give me the controls for a replay here. And there won't be any suggested videos to be loaded here uh, that are used. And so then the second video down below here, you'll notice top right has a share button. If you click that, it gives you the link so that you can share it out. So the reason that I use this is I have a video that I have loaded to YouTube. It's unlisted, so people aren't likely to find it based on the type of name. You want to give it something unusual if you don't want people to find it. So then the only way it could come up is in a, a random search, and that's not very likely. So that's the first process. Then you load it to your website in this case for a paid digital training course and then nobody can share this out with their friends so that they don't have to pay there might be other reasons to utilize that on that feature of not sharing forward the video maybe you want to collect email information and so you don't want people to share it directly out there's a lot of reasons why you might add this feature so that's how you would do that I'm going to add that code for you in the comment section as I close this video out. Thanks a lot for spending your time with me. I know you could be anywhere you chose to be. If you got value, be sure to share this video out. Thanks a lot. Have a good one. Bye-bye.